Hi there! In this video we'll go over Bybit tips and tricks that should help you expand your Bybit knowledge. I will assume you already know a thing or two about Bybeats, so I will not go into explaining any basics. There's a tutorial for that on the upper right in case you'd like to get a detailed Bybit device rundown. Without further ado, let's start with the first tip. If the random sounds Bybit devices produce when you build them make your ears bleed, Hop into the first Bytebeat device's UI and clear all sections, meaning the melody sequencer and the rhythm sequencer. You may also want to turn off the arpeggiator if you're not planning to use it. I also like to max the attenuation and volume levels. When you're done, copy this sequencer and paste it on every other Bytebeat device. You will notice the screeching sounds of random terror beginning to dissipate and you will eventually be allowed to make your music in peace. Tip number two. If you build one Bybit device as a standalone, meaning you don't sync it with other devices, the synchronizer section will not appear. And because you can't arrange the melody, this device will loop indefinitely. Should you wish to make the synchronizer section appear, simply sync another Bybit device to this one, as synchronizer sections appear only when two or more Bybit devices are synced in. Tip number three. Play with different tempos to create more varied and colorful melodies. For example, here we have a 16th note music pattern with a tempo of 240 BPM. Let's say we want to add background music to it, by consisting of only one note covering the length of this whole sequencer section. To do that, we'll go to the next device, which needs to be unsynced so that it doesn't affect the first device, and slow down the tempo four times. We'll then select the biggest note, the fourth note, and draw a pattern. Now, each of these large notes will play throughout the entire music pattern we made in the beginning. By dividing the tempo by 4, we are essentially increasing the fourth note duration so that its length now covers one whole 240 BPM sequencer section. Try playing around with this and mix and match various tempos on multiple by beat devices. Just remember, if you are combining different tempos, don't sync all the devices as sync devices do not allow individual tempo adjustments. Tip number 4. If you want to mix different tempos, I wouldn't use the max tempo value. The reasoning is simple. If you want to cut your tempo down, this will give you headaches. You will be able to go from 250 to 125, but if you want to cut the 125 in half again, that would not be possible as the tempo of 62.5 cannot be set for bypeat devices. Instead, let your fastest tempo be 240, so that if you want to cut that in half, and go from there, you got more options. You can basically cut the tempo from 240 to 120, then 60, then 30, and even 15 if you'd like, which gives you a much greater range of tempos to combine in your melody. Tip number 5. Higher branch waveforms can be randomized to create new waveform branches. The lowest waveforms cannot be randomized and can only be changed by type. Tip number 6. You cannot have the same note on different Bybit devices trigger Bybit switches separately if the two Bybit devices are synced. In this case, all Bybit switches will trigger on the same note, no matter which Bybit device the note is coming from. To show this, I've built two Bybit devices. I synced them and connected them to two light floors using two Bybit switches. I'm going to create a note pattern where the same notes will alternate, meaning that the first note will play on the left Bybit device and the second note will play on the right byte B device, and this will repeat. And while I'm doing this, I was supposed to talk about something... Uh... Ah yes, subscribe! Do it! Do it! Just do it! Just do it! Okay, now that we have created our pattern and set the switches to trigger on the same note, both light floors will light up on every note, no matter that they are connected to separate Bybit switches that are connected to separate Bybit devices. To make the floors alternate as the notes on Bybit devices, simply unsync them. Tip number 7. You can use lights with Bybit switches to create a flickering effect. Create a drum or a rhythm pattern that will make the lights connected to a Bytebeat switch flicker. Then, simply turn off or disable the rhythm sequencer. The drums will not be heard, but the light will continue to blink. 
Also, have in mind that this cannot be reproduced with using a melody sequencer and disabling it. This only works for the rhythm section and it will work even if the connected device's volume is zero. Tip number 8. As you already know, this is how a working Bybeat device looks. However, if you see this pattern on a device, this means that the device is glitched. The device will not produce any sound until you see this glitched pattern return to normal. Tip number 9. Regarding glitches, while you can install more than 8 Bybeat devices in one location by either using glitch building or the dual bass technique, I recommend doing this mainly for decoration purposes, where the extra Bybeat devices will not be connected to power. The reason being that if you build more than 8 Bybeat devices in one location, only 8 will be playing, while the rest will be glitched as described previously. I've heard some players have managed to have more than 8 devices playing in the same base, but I wasn't able to do the same no matter which method I used, so keep your expectations in check if you decide to play around with this. Tip number 10. If you visit someone's Bybeat base in multiplayer and you see the Bybeat device is glitched, usually the glitch disappears from some devices when you get near them. However, other devices will remain glitched. And to fix this, try to find a power switch in this base and flip it. The devices should start playing normally, though be advised that this trick does not work 100% of the time. If you're still having trouble, Try flipping the power switch a couple more times. Luckily, this glitch does not affect the track if you copy it to your Bybit playlist. So you can always do that in case you cannot get the Bybit devices to de-glitch. Tip 11. Sounds on different Bybit devices can get out of sync at times. If this happens, try entering and exiting any Bybit device. If that does not work, you could restart the game or, if you don't want to do that, Pop a save point on the ground and save the game. You should be able to hear the difference immediately. And finally, tip number 12. To fully enjoy the music coming from Bybeat devices, turn off the sound effects in the game settings. This way you'll get to hear the full range of the Bybeat sounds, without environmental sounds getting in the way. And this is it. If you'd like to expand your Bybeat knowledge, check out my Bybeat Guides playlist. If you want to listen to my music covers made with Bybeats, see the playlist on the right. Bye bye for now, and see you on the next bit.